I do think that we are living in a time of unparalleled power shifts around the world and unparalleled pressures on the liberal democratic system that you and I have known um, that came out of the ashes of the Second World War and was built effectively by America in conjunction with um, Europe. I think that system is genuinely under threat, that there are uh, forces undermining democratic institutions that we have not necessarily seen um, over the course of the last 70 years through the Cold War and beyond. Um, the power shifts that are taking place, I think, are partly because the United States is retreating from the role that it has held as being in the forefront of those institutions. It was the US that rebuilt the post-Second World War order as we know it, and at the moment, the US uh, is retreating from that order. And, and I get it, after a decade and a half of conflict in the Middle East that many Americans feel did not go particularly well for them, there is an understandable desire amongst Americans to pull back, to focus on issues back at home and to put up borders. Now, I'm an unashamed globalist. I don't think that's possible. I imagine most people in this room who work for global companies and have global customers and have global businesses would feel similarly. It's not easy to put up wars. Look at Brexit. It's very hard to disentangle globalization. That's that what, what Britain has learned over the last three years is it's difficult to get out of those global mechanisms. That's why we are struggling to divorce ourselves from the European Union. Um, so, so trying to get out of that process seems to be uh, co a complicated one. But there are forces around the world in the form of populism that are saying we don't want globalization. We don't want what that brings with it. We don't want free movement of people. We don't want so many immigrants in our country. We don't want um, big multilateral trade deals uh, for our country. And that's the pressure that we're seeing being put on democratic liberal institutions at the moment. It is the forces of populism. We have them in America, we have them in Britain, certainly, France, you can tick it off, Germany, Denmark, Hungary, Italy, Spain, Brazil, the Philippines, all around the world, we see these similar voices saying, hold on a second, this great globalization experiment that we've had since World War II, we're not so sure it's done so well for us, and we're kicking back against it, and that is the threat to the democratic order at the moment.